Hello, AFI Movie Club. I'm Leslie Linka Glatter, and I directed the film Now and Then. And I am also an alumni of AFI Directing Workshop for Women. So welcome. Now, what's it been, huh? 10 years since you've been back? Don't give me any grief. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the motivation for making this film is that there had been no films about what it was like growing up a girl and the power of female friendships and that summer where everything changes and you will never be the same again. And that's what we wanted to show. Technically, I have only been married three times. The first one was an old. See? <laughs> Oh, you do think everything is so funny. If you ask me, you both need to grow up. Maybe you're right. So we wanted to see the girls as they grew up to be successful women in their lives. And now we're having the transition back to their childhood. Shelby, Indiana was not the most exciting place to grow up. In fact, the most common cause of death before puberty was boredom to the same tree without the tree house, because that's the goal of the summer, and to the girls that they were when their friendship began. And I picked this clip because it introduces the world. It introduces the girls. It introduces the joy of summer and the expectation of summer. And again, the power of the friendship of these girls and who they were together. And of course, you get to see their houses and the neighborhood, which is the Gaslight Edition, which was the original title of the film. So it was a new neighborhood where everything looked alike. It was like the perfect neighborhood to grow up in. It was safe. And of course, this introduces our main character, Samantha, and that she is interested in science and that she is going through something intense because her parents are getting divorced and she hasn't told her friends, but it's shaping her whole world right now. This is the amazing Gabby Hoffman, who I have worked with now as an adult, and it was amazing to see her as a young a young actor, and this is Rumor Willis, who opened the door and is coming in to Gabby's bed. No, I'm not happy. I loved introducing each of the girls in their own special way, the uniqueness of who they are. And of course, Sam is the brainiac. I tried to shoot actually a lot of things in one shot. So you could really see the behavior of the girls. I love that in film, we all come from different backgrounds and we all come in with our paint box of colors. And I came from being a modern dancer and a choreographer. So I tend to see the world moving. I love blocking action, not just you know, an action sequence, which I've done a lot of, but how people move through their world. And also, you know, that's part of the overall design is how you transition from scene to scene, which is absolutely something uh, a director should be and is thinking about in the planning. No matter what I do, they just keep getting bigger. Now we get to meet Roberta the amazing Christina Ricci. And she doesn't want to be changing yet. She wants to stay a girl. And uh, the photo that's on the mirror, which is supposed to be Roberta's mother, that is actually Jennifer Todd, who was one of the producers of the film. Everyone got in. Roberta grew up with her dad and three older brothers. Her mother died when she was four. That's her in the picture. Roberta never left the house without that picture. Shut up, man! And this piece was so important to me, is to see the world of her brothers. That's what she lives with. Tina, tell us how you felt at the exact moment you realized you had won. Of course, Thora Birch, who is the one who wants to be an actress. And I loved everything about the production design of this room. This said everything to me about who Teeny is, even down to the moment of like taking off her retainer. 
to win an Academy Award at such a young age is an enormous accomplishment. Where will you go from here? The cat happened by chance. Uh, but again, I love the fact this was all in one shot. Uh, these are were really 12 year old girls. All of the girls were the age they were playing. What can I say about the introduction of Chrissy? This room, again, describes everything about her. The pink, the canopy, the hairbrush, the, <laughs> the amazing Bonnie Hunt playing her mother. Oh, sorry, honey. Can I come in? Sure. <laughs> oh, honey, keep this closed. Records get dusty. Uh-oh, canopy up, canopy down. Isn't that the right way? A lot of this was improvised. So, of course, there was dialogue scripted, but the canopy up, canopy down, that was all ad-libbed. And that's who Bonnie was. Bonnie is a comedian. So if you are given that gift as a director to have an extraordinary actor like that who makes it better, fantastic. That's all you could ever wish for. So it's that combination of being open to opportunity, but having a clear plan because you know what your story is. A lot of this about the plant, watering the plant, also improvised. This is a flower, right? Okay. Well, all women have a garden. And a garden needs a big hose to water it. Or a small hose, as long as it works. Sometimes. As a direct result of this conversation, Chrissy will spend a significant part of her adult life obsessed with gardening. It is incredible to me that now and then has had the kind of impact it has on a number of generations of women. And I think it's still because there have not been a lot of films made about growing up a girl, which is amazing to me. I love hearing that women watch this film and they decide, are they a teeny? Are they a Samantha? Are they a Chrissy or a combination? Hey, wormy wormers. It means so much to me that it's still relevant.